Are there any changes or updates to ISF requirements in recent years? Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to be talking about the ISF requirements. ISF stands for Import Safety and Compliance, and it's a set of regulations that are designed to protect consumers from dangerous or hazardous products. In recent years, there have been a number of changes and updates to the ISF requirements. These changes have been made in order to keep up with the latest safety standards and to address new risks. In this video, I'm going to go over the most important changes to the ISF requirements that have been made in recent years. I'll also provide some tips on how to comply with these requirements. So, if you're an importer or exporter, or if you're just interested in learning more about the ISF requirements, then this video is for you. The first major change to the ISF requirements was made in 2018. This change was made in response to the increasing number of counterfeit goods that were being imported into the United States. Under the new rules, importers are now required to provide more information about the products they're importing. This includes the product's country of origin, the manufacturer's name, and the product's HS code. The increased information requirements are designed to help Customs and Border Protection CBP, identify counterfeit goods and prevent them from entering the United States. Another major change to the ISF requirements was made in 2020. This change was made in response to the COVID-19 pandemic. Under the new rules, importers are now required to provide information about the COVID-19 status of the goods they're importing. This includes whether the goods have been manufactured in a country that has been affected by COVID-19, and whether the goods have been subject to any COVID-19 related restrictions. The increased information requirements are designed to help CBP protect the United States from the spread of COVID-19. In addition to these major changes, there have also been a number of smaller changes to the ISF requirements. These changes have been made in order to clarify the rules and to make them easier to comply with. So those are the most important changes to the ISF requirements that have been made in recent years. I hope this information has been helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below.